Bob. Send them in. <laughs> um, Bob Smith sent us some interesting footage. Look at this. This is of beavers. They're not our beavers on the lock. What is intriguing about this is not just the rather odd behaviour of that beaver on the left, but also their location. Now, he took that footage much further south than here, in Tayside. Now, there have been reports of the odd beaver seen in, on the River Tay, but it appears that there may be many more than people thought. So we sent Martin off in a canoe with ecologist Rue Campbell to find out more. Here on the River Tay, a group of beavers seem to be living wild and free. Some accidental escapees, others perhaps deliberately released. Now, Rue, you have been studying them on this river, actually here, haven't you? Yeah. OK, and, and to begin with, people thought there were only a handful, but you would beg to differ. How many do you think there actually are now on this river? We think there's probably about 140 to 150. 140 beavers here? Yeah. I mean, what makes it so good for beavers? Beavers really like slow-flowing, uh, mature river systems, and the river's passing through deciduous forests. There's plenty of forage for them here. And, and this time of year, autumn, is that a good time to look for beavers? Yeah, you'll see quite a bit of activity about this time. They're preparing for winter, so uh, they'll be building food caches, and they'll be preparing the lodge for winter as well, so they'll be covering it in mud. With so many beavers here at Tayside, it doesn't take long for Rue and I to find evidence of their behaviour. Classic sign There's of beavers. There's great chunks taken out of that one. And it looks fresh too, doesn't it? Does it to you? It looks, yes, fairly fresh indeed. We'll, we'll go and have a closer look. Look at this. Look at all these chippings as well. Yeah, so it is, it is fairly fresh actually, by the looks of it. They, I mean, why would they do that, Rue? Why are they chopping? I mean, there's not much of the tree left. No, so they've, they've felled it. Actually, oh, they felled they've it? They've felled the whole tree, and then they, that's their way. Like a giraffe has a long neck. A beaver's way of accessing all these twigs and branches is to bring the tree down to their level. Right. Um, and you can see they've been partially successful because I think... This, oh, this is it? This is it. This is and it. So it's, fell, it's fallen badly, um, which means they still can't access it. And now they've right. just had to make, to make do with taking the bark that's at, at, that's at this amazing. level. That's amazing. There's a whole story here. Yeah. And in fact, actually, can... this tree is epic. It's yeah. an enormous tree. Yeah. <gasps> And it's, it's actually a sitting room. Have a look at this. Have a look at this. Talk about... Oh, my goodness. That's just comedy beaver work. It is, isn't it? Look at so that. the sharpened pencil beaver cutting. And this has to be ridiculously and fresh. This is, it? yeah, yeah. Looks, by looks of it, they've, they're working on this right now. So the last few days, have been, they've been gnawing away at this. Um, you can see as well, if you look closely, in fact, they made a start. Oh, then yes. they gave up. And then they started again. So they don't, this, 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 a tree this size, they might work on intermittently for, for, for weeks and weeks. I mean, this is a huge tree. In fact, it's slightly unnerving being here because it's going to go pretty soon, isn't it? Kid, yeah. A, a, few, I mean, more, a few more <laughs> chomps out of it and I mean, it'll go. When the beavers fell trees, their technique is simple. It's just get out the way fast. The changes to the environment caused by their felling has benefits. The extra light and space created encourages new growth and creates diversity in the habitat. Well, this one, Ru, is quite an old one. They've given up on it, but it's going to go, isn't it? Definitely. Yeah. This standing deadwood is really good for insects, which will come and feed on the deadwood. And then you've got birds, for example, woodpeckers, but, but other, other smaller birds as well come in, and then they'll be feeding on the insects as well. So it creates this, this nice habitat for it. And there's, there's quite a few species of beetle, for example, that are only found in standing deadwood like this. And you wouldn't want to build a nest in this one, would you, if you were a woodpecker? No. Because you'd never know when it was going to go. <laughs> Rue takes me further downstream to show me more evidence of beavers at work. See all those sticks, strip sticks that are next to the shore? So that's what we call a feeding station. So the beavers will be felling some of the little willow saplings around here and then bringing it back to this spot. And it's stripping them and eating them here. So this is beaver snack bar, really, and yeah. here, here are the snacks. Yeah, this is really, this is their favourite habitat. This, this is, these, these gravel bars that we're sitting on here with lots of young willow regeneration going on. It's just full of uh, young tender willow that we can eat on. So if we were here at night, we'd see them just yes. gently, just... <laughs> mm. Away from the main watercourse is where you'll find the most notorious signs of beaver activity. Dams. Look at that. Yeah. That can't be. That is all beavers have done that. Yes. 
but it's enormous. It stretches for miles. How many beavers would have created this? A family group. This is one of three right. dams here. Just remind us, why do they need the dams? They have big food stores in winter, which basically is their sustenance over the winter. So oh. they fell down saplings, store them underwater. Now, so they're near, underwater here yeah, now? And they also use water as protection against predators. So they, they're trying to avoid, for example, uh, traditionally we wolves. And, and they do that by diving away underwater. And they need a certain amount of water to cover the lodge entrance so that predators can't get in. These dams show that the beavers can profoundly change the landscape. And whilst their behaviour has obvious benefits to the natural surroundings, their overall impact remains to be seen. That is amazing. 140 beavers. 140 and people beavers. thought there were only a few. A couple, I know. It's made, and, and when you look, the evidence for what they're doing is so very dramatic. Let's just remind ourselves again, though, this isn't an alien invading the UK. You know, it, it was here for thousands of years and only sort of became extinct four or five hundred years ago. But yes, the evidence is very obvious. And, and if you've seen anything like that, we'd really like to know from you. Um, beavers have been seen in, in, in Kent, in Devon. They are out there. We need to find out exactly where they are.